Sorry. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, so, the last recipe we're going to be doing today, which I'm very, very excited about, is the recipe that Josie cooked in week one yes. of Britain's Best Home Cook when we had the nut challenge, which is what we're going to call Josie's banana fritters. And these, how you got in the cook off that week, I will never know because these were. Oh, amazing and I have been waiting to try them again since and learn how to make them so I can make them for my kids. So what are we going to start with? So we are going to heat the pan and with oil so vegetable oil, canola oil you can use easy. Anything with a high smoking point then? Is yes it? Not, that's not your olive oil? No like definitely that. not. Weed seeds a good one then? Okay. Yes and we need banana, fill pastry, and this time we've got um, almond flakes. Yes. So I think in the show we had, I used the, is that the ground almonds, isn't it? I think that was ground almonds. I think they were ground yeah. almonds, yeah. So it's just to give it a crunch with the mm. banana. So yes. we wrap them in phyllo. Put some and this may sound like something that would be too sweet. Mm -hmm. And the people that don't like bananas, like myself, I'm not a banana eater, especially cooked bananas this was still absolutely delicious it wasn't too sweet um it, you could eat like two or three of them polish them off they were really nice yum yum mm -hmm. i love almonds mm -hmm. same pecans mm -hmm. walnuts yeah. i like nuts same so fill a pastry you can find in supermarket um you can also use spring roll wrappers, which you can get in Asian supermarket. So they like rice uh, paper? No, oh, they're thicker they're, ones. They're just a thicker one. It's like a, a dumpling wrapper. All right. Okay. Some, it's quite similar texture, but it's just basically a phyllo, but um, Asian style. Okay. A bit thicker than a phyllo. So I'm guessing you're not going to use any butter for this? No, I don't do because it. Because whenever I cook with phyllo, we brush it with butter. Mm -hmm. And I think if you've, you know, people that cook with feel that's a normal sort of use, I a use, French use of it. I use water. Water? Oh, this sounds a lot healthier. Do you need some water? Yes, please. Okay. So, I would normally, for me, this is like slightly big. So right, okay. Yeah. Cut this banana. Side, I'll just right. show you like one and then you can see it yourself, right? Okay. And um, with the feel page, we're gonna, I'm going to wrap this back up just because mm -hmm. it dry. dries out really quickly. And you can even, if you want to, with filo pastry, just put um, a tea towel over it. Just a damp tea towel yeah, will be nice. fine. Because it, it'll dry out and it just cracks. And that will be no use. So if, while you're using it, you can keep it like this. Yes. And then you can just wrap it up and can come. it freezes really well. So that it's, That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've not... So I can see you've cut this now into half the banana and yeah. then into two quarters. So there's like two pieces in there. Yes. And you've brushed it all over with water? Nothing. Or nothing finished. yet? Okay, sorry. Jumping ahead. So I just put, I'm going to just put that. Not a lot. Yeah. Because um, phyllo breaks, as you say. Yes, yes. So you have to be like so gentle. Yes. When you. I don't think I'm going to be very good at this, right? So you just roll it. And this time, this is how I put my finger. Oh, right, okay. And that's it. See? That's done. Wow. Okay, so are you going to make some more of them? Yes. So our oil is hot. I'm just going to put the temp the heat down a little bit because we don't want to burn our pastry basically okay and then while it's doing it as well we are going to start adding sugar okay so this time i think i'll just normally use brown sugar but they burn very very easily as well so do you have like a caster caster sugar? sugar yes i do so i'll take those there we are so shall i have a little go with doing this as well yes i'm a little bit nervous i'll be honest go for it let's give it's it a go. so easy it's just like no, no. See now, Josie, you made it look easy. I don't necessarily know that it is easy. Is that right there? Yeah. So how how big are we talking? That we're cutting this strip off here. Then, yeah. Either way, you just neatly tore it as well, which you know, if I tried to do that, would be a mess. So we get the banana. Yep. So I've got banana here. Right. Just cut it in half, and um, maybe like four, and four parts or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. I'd see that it's a wee bit taller compared to, the, so I would cut the bit, yeah. Just cut a bit off? Uh-huh, cut a bit off. And is it that bit going into the fritter? Yes. On the corner? Yep. Rolling that over? Oh, you have oh, to put that my almonds, right. Just a, a little smidge of almonds. Mm -hmm. And then roll it. Roll it. So once you get that part, so um, you, you do have to cut that, so. Gather it in. Gather it in. 
Right. That's it. And then slowly. And you want like a straight line yeah. then to carry on rolling it. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. And then. Um, not yet. Not yet. One too more. soon. I'm, yeah. I, mean, was in the, I was literally in the water then. I was. Yeah. Like that. Be generous with the water. Yeah. Because we we have to seal that as well. Because when you cook It'll it, it pop goes, open. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's put a bit more in there. At this yeah. Side of, yeah. That was actually easier than I thought it was going to be, so I'm quite happy Perfect. with that. Yeah, so and then we'll just do this last one and see if it's it is as easy. I have cut the corner off. Is that a bad yeah. thing? So that's fine. So see, you leave that bit at the end. I guess that's a that's a better one for. It. And then you use this one for wrapping. Right. Banana. Okay. And we need to cut that one in half. Yes, is it? please. So it's easy so to put to it in, yeah. and then next. Yep. Yeah. And we're not, again, no, no amounts or anything. This would be just sort of yeah. what looks good. Yeah. Roll it over once and then fold it in. Yep. Yeah. That's it. And you want like a straight line. Yeah. I noticed you did. That's it. And then I think mine might be a bit squiffy. Hang on. The first one went so well. I mean, I think I might be over fussing this now. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, you're okay. Oh, I need to... Um... And then lots of water. Well, the sugar's in there now, is it? Mm -hmm. Basically, we've got sort of like caramelized sugar. Oh, in the bottom there, you can see uh -huh. now. Like you can see that really clearly. The lights come on. Yeah. And you can see it's a nice golden brown. Uh huh. Because initially I thought it might look a little bit dark, but when you can see, can you see in the camera? Yeah. Though? Really good. Lovely. So what are we going to be doing now? Popping them in. Yeah, pop them in. So they're going to sizzle. Okay. And we want to sizzle. We want. Yeah. That's it. Ooh, sounds good. So we don't want to um, burn the pastry as well. Okay. So we don't want that. So all we just we just have to wait. I've put the heat down a wee bit for this one, so I'll put this back on. Okay. And would you drain these on paper towels or something then? No, because it's gonna stick. Okay. Yeah, obviously because of the caramel, I should know this. It's like so, I can't cook at the moment. I don't know why. <laughs> we just like um, leave it the way it is. So. And we just like keep on turning it. So it takes a few minutes and then that's you sorted. And you wanted that sort of golden spring roll sort of colour. Yeah, so okay, um, everyone will be sort of familiar Brown, with. yeah. Brownish okay. colour. So do you don't need to use a lot of oil as well because it doesn't need to be floating? No. Person? Kind of wanted to get to the bottom to get the sugar then I suppose. Yeah. I've never seen caramel done in this way with the oil. Really? No, never. Is this something again that's quite common in the Philippines, or is something yeah, you look yourself? Um, I I don't know. I just watched my gran when I was young mm -hmm. doing it. So and, and this is what she used to do, is it? Yeah. So I don't actually know. So it makes like the caramel become stuffy yes. flavor eventually. Mm. So that's what we're trying to achieve. So that's it. And how long these cook for? Would you say? Um, a few more minutes. So once the pastry is sort of cooked. Okay, so we'll come back and have a look now when they're a bit cold. Yeah. Right. Wow, those look good, Josie. Thank you. They're very mm -hmm. nice. So we're going to um, serve these now with a bit of ice cream. Do we want to cut up one of these lovely oranges we bought yesterday? Yeah. It's just nice to have a little bit of fruit in the middle. like. So how would you cut the fruit? Because so far today we've always cut the fruit differently. So we'll normally just cut them in half. But how would you do them? Yeah, if I was going to do a slice, I would yeah. do sort of a thickish slice, yeah. and then sort of maybe, because this is quite a big orange, maybe cut it in half that way. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, we're okay on that one, are we? Yeah, we're okay on that one. <laughs> we match. Just two slices? Yeah, two slices for decoration. There we are. So. And these, again, from Swansea Market, they do smell really good. We got them for the zest because we were going to do something else, but we haven't used the zest, but we've used the slices. I'm just going to get it. So all you need to do is just... Like magic. Have a lease. Alan just got this from the freezer on the shed. <laughs> this is gingerbread ice cream from Lidl's and it's not even been opened yet. Wow. And I buy this and I hide this from the children oh. and I eat it when they're in bed. <laughs> wow. Yes. See if you... Yeah. How's that? That's good. How much do we want? Do we want a lot? Because I feel um, like we need a lot. I think you're the one eating it, so be generous with your ice cream. Uh, so this is, yeah, this ice cream, I think this will work quite well with the flavours, banana, yeah. gingerbread, orange. Vanilla, ice cream, any ice cream that you... Oh, you said double cream as well would work really Do well. Yeah, whipped double cream is so good too. Even like clotted cream. Oh, oh clotted cream, clotted so good. cream would be so nice. So, see the combination because this is like warm and cold, so it's actually really good. So if you're not satisfied with whatever you've got, you can sprinkle it more with a bit of sugar. Could you put ice and sugar, like a dozen yeah. of ice and sugar? That would be really nice. Are we picking... 
Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so they're, they're called, crunchy okay. and something. Will it, oh, oh, look at that. It's like pulled sugar. Yes. Right. They're quite hot. Very hot. Very crunchy. Oh. They're a bit hot, but they're really nice. It's nice with the ice cream as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Mix it. I'm so mm, sweet. But not too sweet. I think just that's the, the yeah, thing. That's my idea. I don't like sweetie stuff. Mm. I don't know. It's, just it's so crispy. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. We'll finish the rest of this off camera. And um, did you see how quick it was? Mm. It was only like a few minutes. It was literally about 10 minutes from start to finish. Yeah, thank you very much. I can't wait to finish this thank off. Thank you and so to much. Make it myself. Well, thank you very much, Josie. Thank you for having me.